guys we are back with another interesting video sap installation on windows server so today we are going to discuss uh, sap installation process on windows based sap system like we are installing sap product here i am going to show you the ecc6 ch page so this one will install on windows server basically the installations is of majorly two types standard type and distributed so what do you mean by standard basically in installation we will install db instance into application level application server web central services primary application server all on same server so what we do here is in standard installation process we will install db instance ABAP central services primary application server on same server and db we can install it on same server or different server according to our usage if it is production we mostly choose uh, db on separate server if it is non-prod we choose it on same server coming to distributed basically distributed is used for high availability so we will distribute the components like db is in one instance and after that db instance uh, might be on same db node and acs will install in separate server primary application server is on separate server if we have additional application servers those are also on separate server like that we will install because if one application goes down we will use another application server for high availability purpose so later we'll see distributed installation today we are going to discuss about standard installation so into standard installation the first step we go with uh, the preparation preparation for preparation phase so before that to perform installation we need basically sap software which we can download from marketplace so the software which we required is SWPM, we call it as Software Provisioning Manager. After SWPM, we need kernel files. The kernel file consists of SAP, SAP exe dot sir. In previous class, we already discussed about kernel upgrade. Those are in that place also you heard about these files the exe db dot sar igs dot sar and igs helper dot sar and one more thing will be added only for oracle database which is br tools related file that is called dba tools file sorry dba tools file so these all together called as kernel files that till here we are done with three after that we need database so so let us say i'm using oracle database here i am showing for now oracle database so whatever the database you use you need to install you need to get the db client as well if it is oracle the client will be oracle client so these are the five softwares which we require to install a minimum sap system like any standard installation also required these files those are swpm kernel files db client db these are the things and one more thing i missed here which is export even if you want to install bw system ecc netweaver whatever the system the above files are common exports only will vary exports are like the base system sap exports the system related configuration into dvds so that's why we call them as export dvds so here the exports are like ecc exports we need so this is about the exports simply the five five components which are required are written here uh, these are the things 
so we'll connect to the windows server and we'll start with the preparation for now so to perform this we have to connect with windows server i already connected let me show you again so by using rdp you can connect to windows server so my server ip is this and i'm connecting to that so initially in the system we will be having only the user administrator no sid adm no other sid will be there so i'm connecting administrator i think the spelling is wrong i put the administrator now and password see i connected to that and here you need to observe the file system like the drives in windows so what i did here is for os obviously we'll have c disk and for sap installation we need some swap memory as well so usually we give three times of our existing memory as of now this server contains uh, some amount of ram which is around 16 gb but later for further classes to perform tms and all i will reduce it to 10 gb so as i decided 10 gb 30 gb swap i have given three times of ram and to install sap i i used one disk to install db i used one disk so while installing on also we will give the same things like uh, sap related whatever the disk we have to give we will give e and db related we will give f we'll see later how we will give those so in c drive i i put already my softwares you can see here swpm kernel files exports oracle client and oracle so our tool is swpm here we have to look for sap inst basically swpm won't come like this it will come in this way so when you download swpm will be in this form and to uncare this sar file we require sap care so i am uncaring this for your visibility so from this path if we launch cmd anytime it will come with the path as well this is the best way to launch command prompt once this is done i am using dir to check the files so sap care the command to uncar the file is sap care minus xvf file name dot sar it should be sar file so i will do this thing i'll right click mark i'll use sap care file the version all you need to give while t while while explaining to someone we say sap care but you have to give the entire sap care related name if it is windows dot exe will come if it is linux dot exe won't come you have to put dot slash before so after minus xvf we will give the file name so again right click mark and take swpm file and put it here paste so observe this here you have only two files now once you do uncare see how many files are creating in back side here a lot of files will be created the extraction is completed so here to perform installation you need to launch sap inst right click it run as administrator the software provisioning manager is opening and once it opens it opens in the form of like in the uh, it will be opened in the browser but see here make sure the web address is correct so some error it is throwing me let me check what it is so here i can see in the program starter so you can see here full output of self test connecting to so and so executing so and so it codes nothing so it is trying to connect to this host but which is not happening so this happens because of self ping failure so for this the solution is go to drivers etc host you need to maintain host entries here what is our server ip 192 168 1.35 tab and the host name is this one only i have given host name as ecc dev 
so usually you should give a host name this is it dev and uh, i connected to a network router which is having some fqdn named as hgu underscore lan so i'm giving that one as well this is called fqdn fully qualified domain name i saved it and i closed it this one also in closing this whenever you are relaunching your uh, sw domain here the program starter should not be there you have to close it properly sometimes it store it will be not displayed but it stays here now again i'm going here and i'm launching but if i launch now also it will give same output because in this local disk users the user which i'm using now is administrator here you will be having some dot sap nst it contains the previous host name details even though now also just delete it and relaunch your swpm now it will work uh, this is the actually solution given by sap in a note uh, basically we have performed many times i guided my students in previous batch so i know the solution that's why directly i have shown now click here to continue the website so i have given the administrator user id password so this is the software provisioning manager main screen so from here onwards you will you will navigate to your component which you are installing you may install s4 hana 2020 java or s4 hana 1709 whatever it may be this is some old version uh, swpm that's why you don't have 2021 or 22 related uh, these components so i am installing ECC6 EHP8, which comes under a business suit. So the business suit latest one is given at uh, by SAP is on 2016. So go to that. See here EHP8 for SAP ERP 6.0. So ABAP system I'm installing. So here I'm going to install on Oracle database. If it is on MaxDB, you have to select this option. If it is an MS SQL, you have to select this option. If it is HANA, you will select this option. As of now, I'm installing it on Oracle database. Click here. First, we'll do preparation now in this video. Later, we'll do installation. So into preparation, it comes with prerequisite check where we need to check the system prerequisites. So click on next. So it checks the host name and all uh, whether my SAP system is my particular Windows Server is ready to install SAP or not. You see what all the components you are installing. Obviously, we should have database instance, primary application server, ABAP central services, which are uh, called as ASCS. So if I want to install additional application server, I can select this. So we'll install it later uh, into another server. There we'll select this. So within the same server, if you install additional application server also, there is no use. So for now, I need these three. I'm clicking on next. So it asks us the database type or I kill. If we want to give database version, you can give. It is not mandatory. No star is there. Click on next. So Unicode system is recommended by SAP. We are installing Unicode only. Click on next. It is asking the kernel file SAP exe.star. So the file I'm giving from here by clicking like this, going to C drive and going to SAP software and going to kernel, 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 working kernel. I have put some folder name. So we will select this and we'll click on OK. It comes like this or else you can do one more thing remove this just go to your uh, file manager and go to the software path so select this path copy this and come here right click and paste it both are same so this is the easy method selecting from here is the easy method which i suggest uh, which is a suggestible from my side Click on next, the file will be picked up. 
so see here once you see this means this this reading means it means a reading so it means the file is being captured so let's see takes a little bit of time to read the file once it is done it will ask us to go next step So you go and see now this file is showing as available. So click on next. See the defining of parameter is done. It is asking to review. Suppose I want to suddenly add this one. I got some requirement. I click here, revise, and you can select this. But I don't want to do any changes now. So I have reviewed it and I click the next. So service execution will run for some time so it is checking something so it is giving us some inputs like conditions host is okay operating system okay OS language okay NFS service okay system local okay RAM size okay domain controller okay host IP swap size everything is fine you don't have any issue here which uh, it is not asking anything uh, like here saying as recommended so i am satisfying all the conditions i can click on next so it will ask us normally here like okay normally what it will ask is uh, if anything is not satisfying it will ask us we want to continue without checking there we have to select yes it didn't ask me anything it it uh, just completed the execution so prerequisite check is completed so click on ok and in the next session what we'll do is we'll start with the installation so how we launch the swpm the same way we launch the swpm only the change we do here is we'll start with installation concept so we'll connect in the next video guys bye bye